Hi everyone, we cut a chat about Japanese dramas in this channel. Today we are introducing top 3 dramas make you hungry. I recommend not to watch these dramas at midnight. It will surely have you reaching for your fridge or pantry with a second sauce. Here we go! Dinner This drama aired on Fuji TV in 2013. It revolves around Motom Ezaki, played by Yosuke Eguchi, a professional chef who believes that cooking doesn't need love or tradition. It's about skill and creativity. However, his perfectionism and strict nature make it hard for him to get along with the staff, leading him to switch restaurants frequently. At the top-notch restaurant Roca Bianca, owned by chef Hideo Tatsumi, Cooking with love is his policy. When Tatsumi collapsed due to brain hemorrhage, the restaurant started to struggle. That's when Ezaki stepped in as head chef. The drama unfolds as they clash with their different beliefs but strive to rebuild the restaurant, showcasing the intense kitchen of an elite Italian restaurant rarely seen. The teamwork, efficiency, and passion among the staff while creating dishes in a tight kitchen are impressive. It's really, really cool. Ezaki's innovative dishes provoke curiosity. You've never tasted before. It'll make you hungry just thinking about how they might taste. The scriptwriter, Storm Crow Eva, who later wrote fantastic drama like Tokyo M.E.O., Grand Maison Tokyo and My Family penned his compelling drama. Of course, it's also genuinely entertaining. Next is Kinona ni Tabeta. What did you eat yesterday? This drama showcases the lovely and funny daily cohabitation life of two characters Shiro, a serious and honest lawyer played by Hidetoshi Nishijima, and Kenji a funky heroist played by Seiyo Uchino. It's a famous as a drama featuring LGBTQ in Japan and the performance of these two actors are truly understanding. However, a highlight lies in the ev everyday meal scenes. Shiro cooks meals like in a cooking show, carefully demonstrating the recipe, preparing delicious looking and home cooked meals and sharing the dining table with their beloved. Rice, miso soup, a main dish and two side dishes are reminiscent of daily meals from childhood, enjoyed happily with a loved one in the house. It reminds us of the happiness found in sharing everyday meals with someone dear. It's not just about what you eat, it's also about who you share it with. This drama evokes that sentiment. The least share lovely smiles gazing at each other with affection, unlike the intense action or adult romantic dramas. Their peaceful smile fills the heart with warmth, leaving one feeling content and quite hungry. It's a wonderful drama that's impossible to find elsewhere, leaving one's heart warm with its, their peace, peaceful smile and an empty stomach due to increased appetite. The last one is Kodoku no Grume, the solitary Grume. This hugely popular series, a trailblazer in Grume drama, has been on air for 10 series since it launched in 2012. Starring Yutaka Matsushige as Goro Inogashira, the show follows him casually dropping by unique, real-life restaurant and enjoying their recommended dishes. It's just that a drama that's showcasing a middle-aged businessman having a meal. Yes, that's it. That's it. But there's something captivating about it, drawing you in despite its simplicity. Goro dines alone, not concerned about who he eats with, but solely focus on the meal before him, free from the constraints of time and work. His genuine enjoyment while eating captivated viewers. The opening narration captured the essence. 
unbounded by time and society, finding happiness in satisfying hunger, a moment of selfish freedom, dining alone, undisturbed, relishing food without pretense, a solitary act that grants the ultimate solace to modern individuals. It resonates with busy Japanese folks, perhaps explaining its appeal. Why you two witness a phase of ASMR focusing on eating sounds? The solitary groomer has been doing it for over decades. It's just Goro satisfied in eating, but also the sounds that whet the appetite. The day after an episode air, featured restaurants often see long queues. It's a chance to experience everyday Japanese meal unsearchable on Michelin or any social, social media. Japanese people truly have a passion for food, and these three dramas we've introduced today showcase an entirely different perspective on food. Each drama focuses on food from a unique angle. We will continue recommending generally captivating Japanese dramas. If you enjoyed our content today, don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button. See you in our next video. Bye!